Hey everybody, it's Haley. Today we're making another delicious pie that you could make for Thanksgiving or you could make whenever you want. We are making a chocolate cream pie and it's also going to be relatively simple. I feel like this is pretty easy if you're a new baker. And let's get started. Okay, so first I have 500 grams of milk. I'm gonna pour that into a sauce pot. All of the measurements that I'm saying right now are gonna be in grams, but don't worry, I will put the cups in the description. The reason they're in grams is because this is actually a recipe we made when I was in baking school. And I think this was our final for one of our classes. It's a good recipe and I, I know how to make it because I got a good grade on that, so. <laughs> And we're going to bring this to a boil to dissolve the sugar, but make sure you watch it so the milk doesn't burn. Oops. I'm totally watching this. Okay, my milk has come to a boil. I'm going to take it off the heat, set it to the side. And now in a bowl over here, I am going to add in 60 grams of whole eggs and 45 grams of egg yolks. I really do like measuring with grams because it's more accurate. The one thing I don't really like is measuring the eggs in grams because then, you know, you have to like throw part of the egg away or you can save it in the fridge, but um, I don't really have a use for it that way. Now I'm gonna use my hand mixer to beat this up till it gets more smooth. Okay, I think my eggs are looking pretty good. Um, they're like foamy and I'm gonna add in some cornstarch and sugar. I have 38 grams of cornstarch and 60 grams of sugar and I'm gonna sift that. Okay, I've got a little bit of sugar that won't go through the sieve but I'm just gonna leave it out. And then I'm gonna use my mixer to beat this until it's like more smooth and ribbony. All right, this next part, I'm not gonna use the hand mixer just because it's it's kind of hard for me to hold that while I do this. Basically, we're gonna combine the milk mixture and the egg mixture. And I've, I've got this paper here with like the page of the recipe. But I was just thinking about the book that we use for the class. It's like this big, it's really thick. There's just a ton of stuff in there. When we got our books the first week of class, we had that, the baking book, and then we had the book for basic food prep, which was even thicker. It was just so gigantic and heavy. Like, I'm going to have to show you guys at the end of this video, like, how big the books are. Okay, so we are going to temper the egg mixture by slowly beating in the hot milk in a thin stream. So you're going to, like, pour the hot milk just a little bit at a time while you're whisking the egg mixture. Um, because if we pour like all of it in at once, you could cook your eggs, just like scramble them a little bit. We don't want that. This is probably the hardest part, so just, just be careful, focus, you can do it. Let's go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit first and then whisk that in. And as you go, you can do a little bit more at a time. And you want to be whisking this constantly. Your arm might hurt a little, but don't give up. Okay, this feels very smooth, so I think we did good. Ooh. And then I'm pouring that back into this pot. And, and we're going to bring it to a boil so that it thickens. Oh, this actually smells really good. I haven't even added the best part yet. So you're going to pour that egg milk mixture back into your pot and we're going to bring it to a boil so that it will thicken, but make sure you stir it constantly so it doesn't like burn on the bottom again. And this is also cooking the egg mixture. This only took me a couple minutes to get it thickened, so make sure you watch it. Stir, stir, stir. And if you do happen to burn it a little on the bottom, it's usually still okay. Just don't scrape the bottom because you don't want to get those bits in it. 
Okay, then to finish it off, we're gonna add eight grams of vanilla extract, 30 grams of butter, and 60 grams of chopped chocolate or chocolate chips. You can use um, dark chocolate or you can use a mixture of semi-sweet and unsweetened. All right, I'm gonna stir that in. All right, everything is melting. And I should also add that sometimes your filling might look smooth before you add the chocolate. And then once you add the chocolate, you might see little clumps of the vanilla. And if that happens, it's totally okay. You can use a sieve or a sifter and put it through that and all your problems will be solved. All right, once your mixture is all good and mixed, you can try it if you want to see how it tastes because it's already cooked. Mmm. This is so good. It literally tastes like hot chocolate or something. All right, then we're gonna pour this into a nine inch baked pie crust. So I have a chocolate one that we had. Um, so I'm just gonna use this, but if you're making your own, you wanna pre-bake your pie crust in the oven and so you can bake your pie crust like upside down on top of another pie pan. That works with some pie crust recipes. Some of them, they just crumble. Um, or you can like fill your pie tin with foil and then beans on top. And the reason you do that is so that it keeps its shape. It doesn't like puff up, you know, so poke holes in it. But I'm going to pour this in here. It looks so good. You could also put this in a graham cracker crust or an Oreo crust. I think all of those would be good options. Kind of just smooth it out on top. And now we're gonna chill this in the fridge until it's completely set and cooled down. All right, here's my books. <laughs> this is the baking one. It's literally so big. And then this is the cooking one. Can't tell, that's thick. All right, my pie has been chilling in the fridge. And also you wanna make sure you cover with plastic wrap when you stick it in the fridge so that it doesn't get like a crust on top. And then to finish off your lovely pie, we are going to put some whipped cream on top. I like to do it in a circle around the pie, like going in, in a spiral kind of. Oh, and maybe one in the middle, just cause. And to da the chocolate pie is done. Okay, and it's time to try it. Mmm. So chocolatey and so smooth and creamy, it's delicious. Anyway, thank you so much for baking with me today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button so you don't miss any new recipes for the holiday season. And I'll see you next time. Bye. With a, why did the oven just turn on? No, the oven is not gonna turn off. The oven is on for some reason.